Right guys, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last episode, we started off doing that mission with Dutch and Lenny, rolling some place. Didn't go too well, barely any money. Bronte set us up, obviously. So now, uh, in this mission, we're going after him. Then we helped our eagle flies by getting a file about some oil thing, Bob. It helped him and his father, hopefully... That ends up well for them. Probably not the last time we see them. And then we ended coming here, getting a boat from a guy named Thomas. And they ended up doing some stuff with him to help him out. And there was a massive gator that basically ate his friend, or I don't know, someone called Jules. Didn't eat him fully, but like really badly hurt his leg. But yeah, that was probably one of the most scariest missions I've played well, on this game. Anyway, we're meeting him back here now. And I'm pretty sure this is where the end of Angelo Bronte commences. Tahiti like anyhow. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. So it's Bill. So it's me, Bill, Lenny, Dutch, and John. <laughs> hey Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. Uh, Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw. So have you had that? I'm moving my mic around. Everything too savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Oh, fuck no. I saw that. Hey, you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thomas is a real one. Thomas is a real one. John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, General. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Let's go, John. You see those two? Stay out of sight. Uh, it's definitely personal for John. Oh my god, right in the forehead. Jesus Christ. Shoot 
Yeah, what's he trying to do? Bap! Now kick that damn door in. Or break the lock. Oh, Jesus Christ, why am I shooting the head? Oh, he's got no head. Okay, thank you, whoever did that. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Hey, keep that door covered. Bronte must be up there. Let's go. Bronte. Oh, there he is. He's from. Okay, dude. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. Yeah, I have a price. That's the price. Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Well, I'm looting him first. What do you got? Oh, thank you very much. I can't be Italian fuck. Wait, is it through or is it downstairs? Yeah, it's downstairs. Okay. Yeah, I'm going Dutch. These guys suck. Pity, my friend. All your men, all your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. 
What are you gonna say now? Alla che They're even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already the dogs are on the way. Oh yeah. Oh you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So filth has got to be disposed of. Our friends of Mikadens are gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot! Oh, oh. oh. Call them now! You call them! Alligator, bit of time. Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Jesus Christ. Revenge is a dish best eaten. I feel like I know what this next mission is. Yeah. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. If we linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. That's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. We doing this? Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. Um, who was that standing out there? You got everything, Arthur. Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! Let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. 
one last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. We got us all suited and booted. You're ready to rob this bank. Nice and easy through town now, boys. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love that Hosea. He is a true artist. Open up the vault, sir. Huh? Hurry up now. Shut up, Bill. I got it. What did I tell you? Would you look at that? Get out of here. Come on. Shit. Let's go. Okay. 
Think we got a problem out here? Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Oh, Get shit. Here. Get out here now! Someone must have squealed. You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Oh, God. <laughs> ah! Shit. No. Oh, God damn it. Fuck. There's your deal, Dutch. Oh, hell no. I missed. Is why you always trust John Dutch. I'm and I am literally sucking so much. Wait, no, wait, pause. You know what I meant? I'm being bad at video game. Oh God! Ugh. Just about. There you go. I knew he was going to say that. Up to the roof, up to the roof. You'll cover the what? Oh no, 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 no. I am legendary. Arthur, 
We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. Yeah, of course you can help. Anyway, let's go up here. I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the route. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Oh, fucking hell, I Fuck. He's dead. Oh, God, no. Oh, fucking hell. Lenny and Hosea, bruh. Jesus Christ. Yep. I tried to see if I could shoot him before he shot Lenny, but nope, that didn't work. Ow. town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. Jeez, what a fucking shit show. I mean... Oh. Look at us. Not Hosea, Lenny, Dutch got arrested. We don't even know what happened with Abigail. And I'm sure she's fine. Okay, follow me and keep your heads down. Boats, come on. I ever want to see in my head. to be careful. No one's in here. No one is in here. There's no one in here. Sure. All right, then. 
Okay, I think we're safe. Come on. I ain't risen standing up, bro. Okay. for us maybe maybe not well they ain't just waiting there for no reason yeah let me think for a second i'll deal with them what? how i can't kill all of them silently so when they chase me you go the other way what are you talking about you heard what i said oh i like it real brave what in the hell who is Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. Mad. And that's why I have a ton of respect for Charles Smith. On we get. What now? Well, at least we got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. That no, was not. Gonna do now. <clears throat> that did not end well at all. Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find How does he not hear us, by the way? How do I look? Like a shifty no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir! Hey, who are you? Forgive me! A stowaway! Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella, a New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? No, it does not. Whatsoever. That's bad news right there. I don't know. 
Oh, well, Arthur's head for mate's gone. Like that's the first thing I worry about since we're in a freaking train and it's been a storm. His hair for has gone. Where the fuck are we? Welcome to the new world. Hang up. Jesus Christ. Oh, I've lost my shoes. So I'm asking, where the hell? Oh, beard's going back. And yep. Hair for me is gone. God damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sunburned as, as well. Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh. Joe's okay, gonna keep walking. This place literally looks deserted. This place is the definition of deserted. Oh god. And he's passed out again. Oh no, no, he's still up. Come on, Arthur. Chapter 5, Guama. That's what it's called. And chapter 5, fucking hell, dude. I mean, I started playing this game months ago, but still. Oh, 
I'm feeling your health, barely any energy, and barely any dead eye. That ain't good. Smoke. Is that them? Did they end up here as well? Yep. I think that's. Yep, that's Dutch. Oh, Jesus, look at him. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody Here. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So... Where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarma. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Wow, shit. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 Muevanse! No, brilliant. Let's go! We got another group rounded up down the way. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our... I'm going to stop. How very upsetting for you. Okay, now the latest stuff as well. As it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going the scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Yep. You and me both, over this shit. Who are these 
these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muévanse. Todos. I mean, it's grand. Can we help us or are we gonna fight way out of here? There's no way we're taking to Okay. Okay. Give me that gun. Okay. And the gun. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David. Everyone, follow me. Please, David. Come, come, come. Oh, God, they got Javier. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. What do you think? We gotta move, Dad. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Gooey, gooey. Go, go. I just suck with this thing, bro. Something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant. Driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. 
Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men killed themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, we will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do some more scouting. Carefully. Okay, um... I'm trying to get to Dutch, currently. I'm not going to start the mission, because I've, only, I've been recording for like 52 minutes. So I think I'll slowly get there, and then we'll leave it at that. I think, around here, because you're right there, there's a big good place to end it. Jeez, I'm sunburned as hell. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you for the next episode. Deuces.